Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build the Chengdu J20 and hopefully I said that right um, but I'm not really too how, sure how you say it. Uh, but basically what it is, it's a stealth air superiority fighter or it's kind of like a stealthy uh, jet plane which is currently being developed. I'm not sure, I don't think they've kind of finalised on the design but I know that they've got a couple of prototypes working and, and flying them so it's used by... Uh, but yeah, by the Chinese, it's a really cool one. I think it's probably one of my best planes, or small planes, uh, so far, detail-wise. Uh, it's kind of got a lot going into it. Uh, and I'm really happy with uh, how this one turned out. And even on the engine parts, there's actually kind of like a little hole that goes back for the actual intake. So I've kind of uh, spent quite a bit of time getting this one right. Uh, so the texture pack I'm using is LD Modern, which is my own texture pack, uh, which you can download if you want to. But I'll also be showing you guys it in default as well. So what I'll do now is I'll actually switch over to the default texture pack so you can see what it looks like in that. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the default texture pack. So you can see that I've got it out of never brick here. So, you know, you can choose whatever material you're going to want to make it out of. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it is down to personal choice. But it is kind of a dark material. It's actually a kind of black material uh, that's made out of on for the real one, which is why uh, in my texture pack at least I do have that kind of material. Uh, and I think the closest that you kind of have in default is unfortunately the never brick. Uh, that is pretty much the kind of closest. I guess you could use you know dark wood, but that's not going to look great having a brownish plane. Um, but you know you can go with whatever you want. You can go with white. You can go with uh, any of those other colours anyway. But uh, basically, what you need to do is just choose your basic materials, and that's going to be black wool. Your buttons. You're going to need never brick fence. Uh, now I'm going to make mine out of sandstone. So you're going to have a sandstone slab, a stair, and also a full block. So make sure that you have those. And then all you're going to need also is glass, and I almost forgot, a block of iron as well. We're going to need one of those. So if you grab those, choose your free kind of, well, your kind of color block, I guess. Um, again, I'm going to make mine slightly differently. And now we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just place down the wheels. So if you grab your black piece of wool, just place down one. And now I'm going to use the slabs just to count backwards, but we're going to go back by seven. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then add one into each side like this, and then put down a black piece of wool on each side. Now we can get rid of these. Now I actually need to replace the gra uh, grass, yep. And then grab a button, put this on each side, and on these. Uh, now with this one, uh, it's actually, I had to kind of just get these parts in, I had to raise it up by one. Uh, if you think that it's looking like it's sitting too high up, feel free to, you know, basically just ignore the next layer, which, well, not even the next layer, but uh, the actual never brick fence part, um, if you want to knock it down by one block, which is absolutely fine. But if not, just put down your never brick uh, fence on top of these ones. Now, if you grab your actual colour, you're going to place down one on the front here, and they're going to go one, going towards the front, then a stair, and then two slabs like this. And on the back of this, you're going to go eight. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now a stair and three slabs. One, two, three. And then what we're going to do is if you grab your stairs, and this is going to be a little bit more complicated because we've got to get them the other way. So what we're going to do is just off this front wheel, we're going to go one, two, just with any block. And this will allow us to put in a stair right here. So you can see, so we've got this little gap. And there's going to be a total of six stairs. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, five, and six, like, six like that, there we go. Now if you grab your full blocks, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and five, and then you're going to have two slabs, one, two, and of course do that on the other side as well, so if we just place down one here, we're going to go one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Take out that one, then five blocks, one, two, three, four, and five. And they're gonna have two slabs on the back like that. And what we need to do actually is right on the back here, right in the middle, I actually place down one too many slabs. So you should have on either side of this uh, just one slab sticking over. And now what you do is if you count back on these stairs, you go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And now what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wrap one this way, stairwise, and then go one, counting that one, two, three, four, five, and then this one gets wrapped as well, so you've got six there. So, just the same on the other side, we've got this one, 
two, three, four, five, and then one going this way as well. That one actually gives us the base of the plane. Obviously, you can actually see that's quite complicated. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, bring all of these ones back to you know, here. Uh, it depends on how far back you actually want these to go. I'm going to try this on mine and see what what kind of looks like there. As you can see, so that's that's where you got the actual air ducts. Uh, I guess you could try and get it to look like they're coming out of these will be kind of engine parts on top of these but uh, you know nobody ever is going to look down these tiny little bits here so we'll get on to the next bit okay now what we're going to do is place a block directly on top of that slab that you got in the front they have a block then an upside down stair like this now if you grab this block and just drag it all the way back so it's directly on top so it should be one short here now right on top of this you're going to put down an iron, iron block or something similar uh, these are your two engines so I'll just put a button on the end uh, and then if you grab your stairs this time, your sandstone stairs or whatever stairs, again what we're going to do is we're going to go across, but this one is one forwards from the bottom one here, so we've actually got a kind of angle. And we can just get these upside down stairs here to go all the way back. It can be a bit fiddly. There we go. And you can either drag these all the way back or, you know, just stop them somewhere, but I'm just going to grab them and put them all the way into the engine so it's actually kind of feasible that they actually are feeding air into the plane itself. There we go, keep on grabbing these ones going across. And then it's just one forwards, so you should get this. And that'll give you your air intake, and as you can see, it goes all the way back to the engine block. Kind of it's pretty pretty cool. Um, but that'll give us that little bit there. We can actually grab our sandstone slabs now. And we just go back by one from here onto this point, and we're gonna go one, and then two like that. So it's down one, so you got one, and then two coming out just like that. Okay, and if we just go to the back, I need to make an amendment on here, so sorry guys, but we need to push this block here all the way back and then put the buttons on. Uh, now, we can put in the upside down stairs here for the time being, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have to be switched to a full block. Uh, I don't think they can actually, you know, you'll be able to see them from this side here, which I, I don't know you could have if you wanted to. Uh, but now what we're going to do is go to the other side here. And while we've got these upside down stairs, we're going to go one. And yeah, we're basically going to be following what we've got underneath, but slightly differently. So we've got one going forwards, then we're going to go two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Then we're going to have a full block, and now we're going to have an upside down stair here on the inside. It's kind of a bit weird to push, but there you go. That's where you should have your actual upside down stair. Then onto the other side, you can have one here. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Full block, and then your weird upside down stair in here. No, not there. Here, like that uh, just to give you that section like that and now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the wings so what we're going to do is grab your kind of sl slab and go back one block from this stair that we've got here we're going to go one two three four and fives so we're going to have two sets of five so you've got one two three four five one two three four five and then a four one two three four and that'll give you the wing pretty simple so we're going to go back by one one two two three one, two, three, four, and then two fives, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a four, one, two, three, four. There you go, so that gives you your wings like that. Okay, and now if we go to the back part, we're just going to go on top of these engine parts, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six with your slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and just connect one in, and we'll just bring this forwards a little bit. And now we're going to leave two of these, then put a slab, we have three pieces of glass, one, two, and three. Then we're going to have a stair on the back of that glass. And we're going to have two slabs. Unfortunately, this one, there is pretty much no way you can actually go inside. Um, just due to kind of intakes that we've got here. If you had four blocks, you probably could just get a tiny little seat. Um, but unfortunately, there's just not really any way. I guess you could put in a slab here and then put in one there. That's, that's as close as we can kind of get. But um, it's just the size and also trying to get these intakes to look really cool. And go all the way to the back, for instance. So... Just put that in, that will then connect up into this back bit there. And then just to finish it up, what we're going to do is if we go to the back here, we're going to go one, two, three with our stairs. Now just on the back two, we're going to have an upside down, upside down, now we're going to have a slab. And then on the back of these two, we're going to have one, two. And then just do the same on the other side, so we've got one, two, three with your stairs. On the back two, we've got stairs, upside down stairs that is. Then a slab in here, and then on these two, we're going to have just have stairs like that. And wow, look at that, it's raining. Um, but that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a nice little design. I'm actually really, really happy with this one. 
And I do think actually right here, we are unfortunately going to have to put in four blocks to cover that up. Um, but that is pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else. Or if there's a gap here, yeah, there's a gap there. Just a four block. Um, so we need to just put in an extra block right in this point there to finish it up. Um, but that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you do use this on a server, of course, make sure that you do put up a sign just saying designed by Lord Dacker and put one up saying built by you because uh, it does take quite a while, especially this one uh, was really complicated to actually break down. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.